Becoming a smart contract auditor required you to have some special skills in you to understand the contract and do the proper auditing. So you can pick any programming language, you can take Salty, you can take Go or you can take Rust. These three languages get utilized in writing the smart contract, but the most contracts you will find which are on Ethereum, Solana, on Polygon, all of these contracts are written in Salty. So as a beginner, I would suggest that if you are interested in smart contract auditing, then start focusing on the Salty programming language. So the very first thing you have to do if you really want to audit the smart contract, you have to have a deeper level of understanding about the Salty programming language. You have to know that how Ethereum work, how contract get executed, what are the way we have in the Salty programming language which we can use to interact with the contract so you have to clear your entire understanding so once you have the understanding you have to write as many contract as you want because no one can be a smart contract auditor straight away they have to start their journey they have to learn the programming language they have to write the contract and then they gain confidence they gain knowledge around the contract and then they start focusing on the security part and on the auditing part so first try to look at all the contract which are there on different blockchains try to look at all the hacks which were done in the past, the attacks were done in the past, where they talk about the re entrancy attack, DAO attack. So try to understand all those attacks. So you have to gain your understanding around those attacks. So why that attack was happened? What was the problem we had in the code? So when you will start writing the smart contract, it will help you very well as a smart contract developer because when you will write the contract for your clients you will know that these are the problems which can be there if you not optimize the contract properly if you don't consider those variable properly in the contract so it can be manipulated or it can be hacked so you have to get yourself familiar with all the contract which was attacked in the past so once you get understanding about all those attacks try to do some basic testing so you can use any tools for testing a smart contract so there is a proper flow which i follow when it's come to or in the smart contract so first i will go with harder testing then i will go with the manual testing then i go with the tools like slitter we have a lot of tools you can use any one of those tools to find out the vulnerability so, or you can take the assistant from the ai to do the auditing or create a basic summary and on the base of that you can see that what are the possible error can be occur and Generally, what I do that I simply do all this processing and after that I start deploy the contract on any one of the test network and then I try to attack those contract for multiple like uploading a new contract or try to passing some different variable inside the function. So do all this testing. So what is the process? First, you have to do the manual testing using any framework like Truffle or Hadat. Once you're done with that, try to create a summary around it. Try to look at the variables that what are the variables you have to utilize, which one is costing higher money, because this is one of the tasks you will be given when you will audit the smart contract, that what variable costing higher money. Okay, that's the two. Then you have to use the tools. We have a bunch of tools. Slitter one is the popular one and we have other tools. So you can use any one of these tools to do the auditing. Once you're done with that, move to the test network. Deploy the contract to the test network. Try to manipulate, pass the wrong argument inside the function and let's have a look at how it's react when you pass a wrong argument. What are the error object you are getting when the transaction is getting failed? And what are the possible way you can simply interact with the contract? So there is a function called withdrawal. So only withdrawal function can be called by the owner of the contract. So you have to know that when the owner will call the contract, then what are the objects you will get? When the normal individual, those who are not the owner, who will call the function that what are the objects you will get? And when a contract will interact with another contract, then what object you will get as a form of error? So you have to understand all of this thing so these are the couple of steps which you have to follow and the one pro tip i want to give you which will save your life and it will save a lot of money i hope you guys will not create this kind of problem in the smart contract because like two months ago i was auditing a smart contract for a d5 project and what i what problem i found in that particular contract that like when the contract was transferring the fund it was going to the zero address and the entire fund was getting burned off so those kind of things you have to keep in mind. So when you look at the contract, the most important things you have to focus, the very first thing you have to focus in the contract, like try to find out the place where you're using the transfer function, where you are transferring the ownership, where you are transferring the fund from one contract to the order or to the user. So try to check the transfer function because that will create a huge problem if you don't pass the right, right argument. So. When you write a smart contract, just give a quick scan that how many transfer function you have, what are the location you are doing the transfer of the funds or maybe the NFT or maybe any information. 
like where you are using this transfer and changing the ownership so this is the first thing you have to keep in mind this is the first thing you have to keep in mind and that will save almost 20 30 percent of your problem if you talk about the re-entrance attack what happened they create in a loop so just try to find out that how exactly it's happening okay so in this video i just want to highlight one pro trip as a smart contract auditor as a smart contract developer that you have to focus on the transfer functions so wherever you are transferring and changing the state of the ownership there you have to keep a close look and try to understand that you are passing the data correctly or transferring the data to the right user so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this about the smart contract auditor so these are a couple of steps which you have to take if you really want to become a good smart contract auditor so i would highly suggest you and i would highly encourage you to focus on the sorority you can go with the rust and other programming language but right now most of the contracts are written in sorority and there is a lot of demand for the smart contract auditor for the sorority programming language so you can focus on that because I was getting a lot of questions from all of you guys that I want to become a solid smart contract auditor. I have been working in the industry for the last one year, but I want to focus more on the security part and the security protocol. So this is the step you have to fake focus. So the first step for auditing the smart contract that you have to scan the smart contract. Once you scan the smart contract, after that, do the manual testing using any framework. Once you do the manual testing, Try to build a summary and look at the variable we have included in every single function or in every single state variable. So we have two types of variables, state variable and functional variable, local variable. So you have to understand that what is the difference and how much it's costing. After that, move to the tools, use any tools for testing and creating the summary. Once you're done with that, then look at the functions whenever you are transferring the ownership of the no NFTs or token or any data you are transferring. So look at the ownership and the transfer function. So these are the couple of things you can keep in mind and if you give do this much your smart contract is secure enough to prevent any kind of normal attacks which were done in the past so you can prevent the, your contract from those attacks so hope you guys have got an idea because i was getting this question so i thought let's make a video and let you know guys that what how you can do the smart contract auditing maybe if you are writing a smart contract for your dab for your next project this is the step you have to follow build a contract and do this certain process and that will create a secure smart contract for you. So hope you guys have liked this video. If you still have any confusion, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you in that. And I have a good news to all of you guys that soon I'm going to start a Hindi channel. Those of you are comfortable with Hindi or Urdu. So I'm going to start a separate channel for that where we're going to have a Hindi video so you guys can follow that. So do let me know in the comment section that whether you like to watch Hindi videos or English video. I just want to know in the comment section. So I'll give my effort to give you more value and share my experience, my knowledge. So you guys can get the benefit. So that's the only thing I want to talk about in this video. Hope you guys found this video valuable. If you still have any confusion, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll help you in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.